Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1348 of our trek and time for our Philosophy Friday series. Each Friday, we'll ponder some of the fundamental truths and mysteries of life and how they can impact us in creating our living legacy. As we continue on with this trek that we call life, sometimes we do have questions about life. So our Friday trek is a time where we can ask Gramps. Gramps will answer the questions you would like to ask your dad or granddad, but for whatever reason, this is not possible. No matter how old we are, I know that all of us would like the opportunity to ask dad or Gramps questions about life in many areas. We may mix it up a bit on our Friday episodes, but we'll strive to keep them down to earth and enjoyable. If you have any questions that you would like to ask Gramps, please email them to guthrie at wisdom-trek.com. So the question for this week is... Hey Gramps, I know that we are living in an extraordinary times where the entire world seems to be tipped upside down and shaken to the core. We are at war with a microscopic alien that has invaded our entire world and is disrupting our lives and the global economic system. I know in my mind and heart that God is fully in control, but how can I show that to others who seem to be so full of fear? What should I do personally and part of the worldwide church to bring hope to the hopeless? So today's lesson we're going to look at Paralyzed by Fear. We are living in unexpected times, which has plunged the entire world into chaos within a matter of a few weeks or months. While there is uncertainty, there has never been a better time in recent history for the worldwide church to rise up and make a difference in the world. It is times like these where the Spirit can take control of the hearts of humankind, regardless of their country or the ethnicity. There is a growing uncertainty in the air, and it may get worse before it even gets better. Even many Christ followers are reeling with fear of the unknown, as if there is some tragedy looming on the horizon, just waiting for the most inopportune time to crush our spirit and blind our faith. Darkness surrounds many, just at the edge of the light, and fear clouds their vision and is messing with their minds. Maybe they have been paralyzed with fear and discourage. Maybe they experience unemployment, possible foreclosure of their home, loneliness, or illness. It has come on so quickly and feeds their doubt and fear and can cause their hope to teeter near death. In their minds, the present is paralyzed and the future is completely unknown. Their perspective lost, their confidence stripped naked. You may have co-workers, friends, or family that ask, Where is God? Why has He forgotten us? He must be punishing the world or angry with us. As a Christ follower, God gives us eyes to see past the fear into His next step for our future and the building of God's kingdom on earth. So despite the fear, look for signs of opportunities. Opportunity to show love, to share resources, and to share the hope that lives within you. Do what you can to help in tangible ways to banish fear in your own life. 1 Peter 3, verses 15 and 16 tells us, Instead, you must worship Christ as Lord of your life. And if someone asks you about your hope as a believer, always be ready to explain it. But do this in a gentle and respectful way. Keep your conscience clear. Then if people speak against you, they will be ashamed when they see what a good life you live because you belong to Christ. Pray for God to reveal His transformation first in your own life and then in the lives of others He puts in your circle. Ask God to open your eyes to see opportunities to show His love. Consider every episode of fear within yourself and in the hearts of others as the first step in your next faith adventure. Contact other trusted believers and share your perspective on how to show love. Ask your fellow believers to join you in prayer for the revelation and the courage to take whatever step God reveals. Let me leave you with the passage today that provides us with a pattern which we must first establish within the church and then we can reach the fearful world as kingdom builders. 
Let us not waste this earth-shattering opportunity to change the world through God's radical love. That love must start in each of us individually. In the passage today is a rather long one, but it's taken from 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 19. Dear friends, let us continue to love one another, for love comes from God. Anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God showed how much He loved us by sending His one and only Son into the world so that we might have eternal life through Him. This is real love. Not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. No one has ever seen God, but if we love each other, God lives in us, and His love is brought to full expression in us. And God has given us His Spirit as proof that we live in Him and He in us. Furthermore, we have seen with our own eyes and now testify that the Father sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. All who declare that Jesus is the Son of God have God living in them, and they live in God. And we know how much God loves us, and we have put our trust in His love. God is love, and all who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. And as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. So we will not be afraid on that day of judgment, but we can face Him with confidence because we live in Jesus here in this world. Such love has no fear, because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for the fear of punishment, and this shows that we have not fully experienced His perfect love. We love each other because He first loved us. And that's a wrap for today's question. Join us again next Friday for another question on our Ask Gramps episode. Our next trek will be Meditation Monday, where we will help you to reflect on what is most important in life. So encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,347 daily treks or read the associated journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward. Enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.